In my last video, I wrote a program for my holonomic uh, robot here to help it drive. But right now, it can only go forward, backward, left, and right. It can't spin and turn around to do some other task. For a robot to spin, all the motors need to move in the same clockwise direction. So to go clockwise, they all move in that direction. And for it to spin in the opposite direction, all the wheels must move in a counterclockwise direction. I'm going to start with my same teleop code and robot code as I did before and modify the teleop code. Just a brief review, uh, I have two variables for the power. Farther down we have the wait for starts. We wait for the person to press the play button. We have the while loop. So it keeps running this code over and over and over while the op code is running. And then I get the power from the joysticks and then I give it to my motors. And then that's it. To add in the spinning, I'm going to use a function that we learn in math called absolute value. And the absolute value tells you the distance of a number from zero. So the absolute value of three is three units away from zero. And the absolute value of negative three is three units from zero. The absolute value of half is half a unit from zero. And the absolute value of negative half is a half a unit from zero. And you'll see why we need this in a moment. The Java programming language has absolute value built in, so we need to import that code. So we go import Java from the language library, the math folder, and then the asterisk tells to in upload all the math functions. All right, the next piece of code we need is that we need to add a variable, a decimal, a double, uh, called spin power. That's going to hold the power value that we get from the joystick. Now inside the while loop, we want to set the spin power equal to the value that we get from the right joystick. Specifically, I'm going to only read the x value, the left and right. That's going to tell me the direction I want to spin. Now, I want this robot to either drive or spin. So I need to have the robot make a decision. And to make uh, a program make a decision, we use if-else statements. And so we have a test something. And if it passes that test, we're going to do that if it's true. Else, inside these brackets for the else, we're going to have it do something different if the test was false. So I'm going to add an if statement after I get the spin power amount. And the test I'm going to do is I'm going to find out if the absolute value of the spin power is greater than one tenth, meaning if the amount of spin power is more than zero, then it means that they're pressing the joystick and they want to spin. Else, now I'm going to put all my old driving code inside the else. Else, drive normally. Now all we have to do is add the code to make the wheels spin if the test is true. And again, this else statement is for when the robot doesn't need to spin and we want to drive normally. I'm adding these comments so that when I need to look at the code later, I'll understand what the code means. All right, so all I need to do in this if statement is set the motor speeds to the spin power. 
So I'm going to copy my set powers for my motors and then change all of them to spin power. They all need the same spin power because I want them all turning in the same direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on whatever spin power I'm getting from the joystick. And that's it. That's all we need to do for a simple holonomic drive and uh, having it spin as well. Download it to your phone. Try it out.